to announce the Virtue Award winner for October. Do you guys know today's November? Yeah. You probably do because you're doing a calendar. Happy it's November. Happy. It's what? Turkey. It's Turkey Month. Yes, it's not quite Turkey Day, but it's Turkey Month for sure. Not really. Like yeah. Okay, so the Virtue Award winner for October for the Virtue of Respect is Odie! 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 so excited to nominate Odie Ziegler for the Respect Virtue Award. Odie shows respect in our classroom each and every day. She is extremely polite and consistently uses her manners. Odie shows respect to everyone in our building, including all of the adults and to other students as well. We are so lucky to have such a respectful kiddo in our class. Keep up the great work. Love, Mrs. Barnhart. Yay! Yay! Odie, I'm going to let Miss you hold it like this. Yes. And Miss Odie, for your incredible respect in the month of October, we'd also like to present you with this medal. There you go. Yay. Nice, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You look wonderful today. We are here to announce the Virtue Award winner for the month of October in Mrs. Flagg's class. And this Award for respect goes to Abby Stevens. Yay. Come on, Yay. Abby. 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 Yeah, Abby, this is what Miss Flagg had to say to you. She says, I am so happy to give the award for respect to Abby. Abby consistently demonstrates respect in our classroom by actively listening when other people are talking. Abby always follows directions and is quick to help out her friends. She is respectful of our classroom and go, takes good care of all our supplies. Thank you, Abby. That's job, amazing. Abby. There you nice go, friend. Job. That's for you. And then look and at Mr. Schroeder. Abby, for yes. your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we'd like to present you with this medal. Oops, I almost put it on backwards. <laughs> You're welcome. Good job. Congratulations. We have the Virtue Award winner for October for respect. And that Virtue Award winner is Blaze Boy! Here's what she says. I am so excited to nominate Blaze Barnes for the Respect Virtue Award. Blaze shows respect on a daily basis. He is often found sitting quietly at his spot waiting for the next instructions and, in a whisper, helping those around him. He is respectfully doing any job asked of him in class and I couldn't be more proud. Thank you, Blaze, for seeing the good in people, your friends, and Mrs. Beach and treating them with care. We are so lucky to have Blaze setting this great example of what a respectful student looks like. Love, Mrs. Beach. Aww, good job, Blaze! Yay, Blaze! And Blaze, for your incredible show of respect, we would like to present you with this medal. Yeah, thank you. You're Yay. welcome. Nice job, buddy. Look at you go. Nancy. Good morning, friends. We are here to announce the virtue winner for the month of October. October was respect. And your teacher, Miss Salas, said that Bianca Villadomez was a super respectful kiddo. Come on up, Bianca. Bianca. Yay. We're so proud of you. Bianca. This is what Miss Salas said. I'm super excited to give this award to Bianca. Bianca is an amazing student who is always polite and helpful to all her peers. When a friend is in need, Bianca is there to help. Way to go, Bianca! We're so proud of you! Nice job, and Mr. And Schroeder. Bianca, for showing incredible respect in the month of October, we'd like to present you with this medal. Congratulations! Yay. Nice job. So Mrs. Roberts, even though she couldn't be here today, she nominated somebody for this winner, and it is Livia Osterhout. Woo! Livia, Woo! come here. Come here, come here, sweetie. I knew it wasn't me. Okay, here's what your teacher wrote. I am very happy to nominate Livia Osterhout for the virtue of respect. I don't think Livia, wait, I don't think Livia be anything other, oh, could be anything other than respectful. She gets right to work on everything we are doing, follows all directions the first time, 
plays nicely at recess, and always takes on challenges without complaining. She shows integrity and respect no matter where she is or who she is working with in our school. Livia purposefully strives to be a great student, friend, and member of our Crook, Crook and River family. Livia, I am so happy you are in our class. Mrs. Roberts. Oh, that's so nice. Good job, Livia. I'm gonna let you hold that. Oh, that's Mom. so nice. Okay, yeah. no, let's sit down. Miss Livia, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we award you with this medal. Good Congratulations. Job. Okay, I am looking for total respect because that is the virtue that we are here to announce the winner. Total respect looks like this guy right here. Crisscross applesauce, facing the person speaking, hands in your lap. Wow, yeah, very good, very good. Okay, so I am going to announce the respect virtue winner as Anne Marie. Marie! I know, look at that face! Oh, it's so exciting! Come up here so I can see what the teacher wrote. Oh my gosh, your face just made me so happy. So happy. Here's what your teacher wrote. Anne Marie is a constant example of someone who respectfully listens and responds to what her teacher and classmates are saying. I am so proud of her. Yay, good job! I'm gonna let you go that like that. And Miss Anne Marie, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Good job, Anne Marie. Nice job. So, Mrs. Z, nominated Case and Strzok. Case and Strzok! All right, here's what the teacher wrote. Kaysen is respectful both inside the classroom and out. He always makes people feel welcome and important. Kaysen always strives to exceed classroom expectations. That means do even better than what he's asked to do and works hard to be the best he can be, both academically and with classmates. He is kind to everyone, even if he may not agree with them. I cannot wait to see how Kaysen grows throughout the year. <coughs> Love, Miss Z. Aww, so exciting! Let me give you that. And Mr. Kaysen, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. So we are here to announce the Virtue Award winner for the month of October. That virtue was respect. And I don't think it's going to come as a surprise to you guys when I tell you that the winner is Cameron Bullock. Cameron, come here, Cameron. Cameron, this is so true. You are so respectful. Listen to what your teacher wrote. It is my pleasure to nominate Cameron for the virtue of respect. Cameron comes to school every day, ready to work hard and give learning his very best effort. One of the ways Cameron shows his amazing willingness to learn is through his extremely respectful listening skills. You will always find Cameron with his eyes turned toward the person speaking. Cameron also takes excellent care of his school supplies. Cameron's classmates and friends enjoy being around him because they know he will treat them with kindness and care. Way to go, Cameron. With love, Mrs. Fisher. Yay! Yay! Big round of applause. Cameron, I'm going to let you hold this paper. And Mr. Cameron, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October. We present you with this medal. Look at that smile. Congratulations. Oh, good job, Pam. Nice yeah, job. Yeah, we're really big on this one. We are here to announce the virtue winner for the month of October, because October's over. Do you guys know that today's November 1st? Yes. Happy yes. November. Mm -hmm. I like November. It's one of my favorite months. Okay, so the virtue award was for respect. So Mrs. Smith has chosen Mason McGillick. Okay. Here, let me read what your teacher wrote. Mason is respectful every day. He is polite, kind, and listens. He shows respect to his peers and remains quiet during teaching and work time, so as not to steal others' learning. He listens when it is time to listen and participates when it is time for discussion. Mason is respectful to everyone and will be partners with anyone and everyone. He respects others' ideas and respectfully shares his own. Mason is a joy to have in class. He brings peace and calmness, calmness to our room. I love that I get to see him every day. Love, Mrs. Smith. Isn't that nice? Yay. I'm gonna let you hold that. 
and Mr. Mason for your incredible display of respect in the month of October. We'd like to present you with this medal. Congratulations. We are excited to be here to honor October's Virtue Award winner. October's Virtue was respect and Mr. Pierce has chosen Ruby Dragoon! This is what Mr. Pierce says about you. He says, Ruby shows us how to be respectful when she uses the kindest words possible when talking to or about her peers, follows the instructions of all adults in the building, and by always approaching any task she is given with a good attitude. I am ecstatic that we get to have Ruby in our class this year. Ruby, please never stop being so thoughtful, funny, and uncommonly kind. These are traits that the world desperately needs Please share your light with the world as you have with your class, Mr. Pierce. Aww. That's amazing. Well done. Ruby. And Ms. Ruby, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Good job, Ruby. Good job, Ruby. Hi, Ms. Godad's class. We are here to announce the Virtue Award winner for October. October's virtue was respect. And this month's winner is Adam. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, Adam. Let's see what Miss Godad had to say about you. She said, Adam deserves this award because he is a very respectful young man. He always uses his manners and says please and thank you. He is kind to both his peers and adults. This virtue will take you far in life. I am very proud of you, Adam. You rock. Love, Ms. Godad. Good job, Adam. Good job. And Mr. Adam, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we'd like to present you with that medal. Okay. You're welcome. Congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. Adam. Adam. Because we are here to announce the Virtue Award winner for the month of October, and that virtue was respect. And when we came to do this, this person was absent, and this person is here today. Delilah, where are you? Yay! Congratulations! So exciting! Look at what your teacher wrote about you. I am proud to give this award to my student and friend, Delilah Rouse. Since the first day of school, Delilah has shown respect to others in many different ways. She always greets me and her classmates with a smile and uses very kind and polite words when she speaks to others. She shows that she cares for others by being helpful to students that struggle with their academics and behavior at school. I can always count on her to be respectful during partner and group activities because she can work well with lots of different types of students. Finally, I can always count on Delilah to say words of encouragement towards others as well as me. I sure am lucky to be your teacher. You rock, sweet girl, Miss P. Yay! So there's that, and then you get this phenomenal medal right here. You can wear this all day. You can wear it for the rest of school if you want. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's give her a big round of applause. Yay, we are so happy to be here to announce October's Virtue Award winner in your class. The Virtue for October was Respect and Mrs. Graydon picked Riker Blasky. so respectful. This is what Mrs. Graydon said about you. I have chosen Riker as the virtue winner for respect. Riker consistently exhibits this trait on a daily basis. I know I can count on him to show respect to his peers and other adults around the school. Riker is polite, an active listener, is considerate of the feelings of others, and always has his eyes on me when I'm speaking. Riker is a great role model in our classroom, and I appreciate the way he interacts with his classmates in a positive, respectful way. Keep up the good work, buddy. With love, Mrs. Graydon. Nice job, Riker. Nice. So and Riker, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Good job. All right, my friends, we are here to announce the Virtue Award winner for the month of October and that virtue was respect. respect. And the winner is Jameis Slavin! Right on, man. Come over here and let me read what your teacher <coughs> wrote about you. 
is so exciting. I nominate Jameis for the virtue of respect. Jameis is always respectful to his friends and classmates by being kind, sharing his supplies, listening to others, and always follows directions. When Jameis has a question or needs anything, he asks in a very polite way while always <coughs> using his manners. Jameis is an extremely hard worker that shows respect by showing up to school every day and always doing his best work on assignments. I really enjoy having Jameis as a student in my class. Love, Mrs. Wiest and Mrs. Kilhagen. Yay, good job, bud. And Mr. Jameis, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Good job, James. We're here to announce the Virtue Award winner for October in your class. October's virtue was respect, and Miss Stringer picked Carson Britt. Let's see what Mrs. Stringer had to say. She said, respect means to accept somebody for who they are, even if they are different from you or you don't agree with them. I admire Carson's ability to respect all individuals within our classroom. He understands that we all learn at different paces, we all have different beliefs, and we all handle situations differently. Whether he is working by himself, with a partner, or in a whole group situation, Carson will expect who he is working with and lead by example. Although quiet, he is kind to everyone 100% of the time. If there's ever a question on what respect from a student should look like, anyone, no matter the age, could look to Carson and see, or should I say feel, his genuine respect he has for everybody. He listens, he's kind, he leads, and he cares for everyone around him. Thank you, Carson, for being an outstanding, respectful leader at Crooked River Elementary. Nice job, Carson. And for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Hello, good morning. This is Gonzalez's class. We're happy to be here to announce October's Virtue Award winner. The virtue for October was respect and Taylor O'Neill. Come on, Taylor. I'm so proud of you. Here's what your teacher had to say. I am so excited to nominate Taylor for the Respect Virtue Award. Taylor shows respect in our classroom each and every day. She is extremely polite and consistently treats people the way she wants to be treated. Taylor shows respect to everyone in our building, including all of the adults and to other students as well. We are so lucky to have such a respectful student in our class. Keep up the great work from Mrs. Gonzalez. Nice job. And Taylor, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Nice job. I am looking for total respect, which would mean hoods up, which would mean facing this way. Yes. Eyes on the person speaking. Nice work. Okay. The winner is Mason Austin. Mason! Yes. Yeah, man! Come on up here, Mason Austin. You look a little tired this morning. A little tired this morning. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're tired this morning. Yeah. Me too. Should we have school wide nap time? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please. Okay, Mason is a great representation of respect. He shows up to school every day and is ready to learn. I am always so thankful for the hard work he shows in class and the respect he has for his teachers and fellow Ooh. classmates. I never have to worry that he isn't doing his job because he is always on task and willing to help others. Thank you, Mason, for being so respectful towards yourself as well as others. You rock love, Miss Hall. Nice, man. Good job. Yeah. Very good. Mason, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. We are here to tell you who the Virtue Award winner was for the month of October. And that virtue was respect. And the winner is Ariana Osterhaus. Yeah. You know what's awesome? Your sister won too. Isn't that cool? Happened last year. I love it. All right. So Ari is my virtue winner for respect. Ari is quiet by nature, but is strong with respect. Every time Ari participates, it's with a quiet raise of the hand. When working with others, I can trust that Ari is on task and doing the right thing. She is always kind to those around her. 
and is well respected by her classmates. I could go on and on with all of the great qualities of Ari. Thank you for being so wonderful. Isn't that nice? Yeah, so awesome. And Miss Ari, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Yeah. Good job, Ari. Nice job. Mr. Miller, this must have been tough because it the virtue was. is respect. And I am seeing, I could nominate every single student in your class right now. Wow, that is so good. Okay, but Mr. Miller has chosen one person to be the winner for the virtue of respect, and it is Trenton Hess! Trenton shows the virtue of respect every day in every one of his actions. Let me read that sentence one more time because this is going to make you feel really good. Trenton shows the virtue of respect every day in every one of his actions. That is phenomenal. He always says please and thank you. He does his best to stay focused and on task throughout the day. I know I can count on him to be a polite, respectful young man. He is always on task and working hard. The best part about Trenton is he is quick to greet you with a gigantic smile. Mr. Miller. Good job, man. Way to go. Yeah. Big round of applause. Mr. Trenton, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Yes. Good job, Trenton. Nice job. Man. The minute this kid walked into Crooked River, a couple years ago, I think it was kindergarten. Was it kindergarten for reals? Wow, been nothing but respectful. And that is Mr. Max Lane. <laughs> All right, Max shows the virtue of respect by always doing the right thing. He leads by example and treats others with dignity. In class, he listens, participates, and asks good questions. Max brightens my day with his smile and terrific attitude. Because he gives respect to others, respect is mirrored back to him. I'm gonna read that sentence again. Think about what this says. Because he gives respect to others, respect is mirrored back to him. That is an honoring sentence. Treat others how you wanna be treated. I am so glad to be his teacher this year. Love, Mrs. Nixon. Great job. Mr. Max, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. How did you choose? It was tough. Look at these guys. Like, this is the perfect classroom at this moment in time. Oh, yeah. I am so incredibly proud of you guys. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, well, I'm sure it was very difficult to choose one person, but one person was chosen. And that is Miss Bailey Wilson! Miss Bailey. Bailey, this is what Mr. Bailey wrote about you. Bailey is a student that I can always count on. That is such an honoring sentence from your teacher. That your teacher feels like they can always count on you, that needs to make you feel real good. And I'm not surprised. She does a great job of following directions and paying attention. Anytime I ask her to do something, she says yes or okay, Mr. Bailey. She never says anything bad about other students oh, and is very accepting of all. She treats everyone as equals and with the respect they deserve. Keep it up, Bailey. You are an example for the whole school. This is exactly what we were talking about yesterday in that meeting. This is what we need at Crooked River. Good job. Really proud of you. And Miss Bailey, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Nicely done. Good job. Hey. I am here to announce the Virtue Award winner for the month of October. The Virtue was respect. And the winner is Kaylee Griffin! Oh yeah! Come on up here, girl. This does not surprise me. Here's what your teacher wrote. Kaylee is always showing respect in and out of the classroom. She always says please and thank you and shows kindness and respect toward her friends. Kaylee always has a respectful manner to her when given directions and when talking to staff in the building. Keep up the good work. Really good job. We're so glad you're back. 
Way to go. Yay. Yay. And Miss Kaylee, for your incredible display of respect, we present you with this medal. Congratulations. Oh yeah, I'm getting kind of tall. <laughs> so Mrs. Smith has nominated. Allie Miller! Yeah. Yeah. I knew it! I knew it. You know what's cool? Your sister won also. Really? Isn't that exciting? <laughs> She's like, really? My sister? Uh, Respect? It's great too. Uh -huh. Okay, here's what your teacher wrote. Allie was chosen by her classmates mm -hmm. and Miss Smith. Now that's really honoring. Your classmates voted for you. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Allie sets a perfect example each day by being respectful inside and outside of the classroom. Allie's teachers and peers admire her abilities, qualities, and politeness. I can't think of a better person to give this award to. Thanks for being you, Miss Smith. Thank you, Miss Smith. Aww. You're the best. Aww. Good job, Allie, girl. Good job, Allie. Okay. And Miss Allie, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this award. Nice again. We are here to announce the Virtue Award winner for the month of October. And that virtue, Angel? That virtue was respect. So right now, I'm looking for total respect. Nice. Wow, good job. Okay, and the winner is Mia Miller! So exciting! All right, here is what your teacher wrote about you. Mia is a phenomenal example of a respectful student. True. She is kind hardworking and does everything with a pretty smile on her face. Every morning, Mia does exact or does extra tasks around our classroom to keep it tidy and is a big help to me throughout the day. God bless you. I can always count on her to do the right thing. She always raises her hand, stays on task, tries her best, and leads her classmates. Keep letting your light shine, Mia. Oh, that's so great! Miss Mia, for your incredible display of respect in the month of October, we present you with this medal. Nicely done. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah.